Hey, Jerry here from Screaming Geek Media. Got another video today. I'm going to show you some of the other custom covered designs I've done. These weren't in my last video I did for custom covers since I actually don't have actually own these, so I didn't have them printed out, but I went ahead and printed them out. So I still plan on getting them. I want to share. So let's dive right in. Now we're going to start with my King Kong set. We have the original 1933 King Kong with Robert Armstrong, Fay Ray, Bruce Cabot. Spine. And the layout I've done here, I've used across the whole King Kong set. Also on the spine, I put the, the year so you know which one you're looking at. Next, we've got the 1976 King Kong with Jeff Bridges, Jessica Lang, and Charles Roden. This cover I was inspired by. This is a uh, fantasy artist Ken Kelly's work. It's called The Mighty King. I also got a big lithograph of it. I was inspired to do a cover using that original artwork. But since it had a snake, it didn't work with the new one, so I put it with the 76 version. Now we've got the 2005 version from Peter Jackson, starring Jack Black, Naomi Watts, Adrian Brody. And this is actually another Ken Kelly painting. Since they had a dinosaur in, I thought it would fit with the newest one. And we've got the Kong Skull Island. I forget who did the artwork. I just just did some searching and wanted something that would kind of fit uh, with the rest of the set that looked good. Now I went to some Stephen King ones. I wanted to use original book covers. So that's where this came for. Thinner. This is the original book cover and it was originally released under the Richard Bachman name if you don't re know that. Stephen King's It the for the TV miniseries. I, I love this cover. I've thought about doing it for the new one but then I'd have to figure out how to do some modifications since it's two movies, four discs. So I'm just probably do a different one but this is for the miniseries. And creep show. The reds came out a little bit darker. My printer's not the been having issues, but overall came out really nice. This is the first time I've done the comic book look, which I've done on my newest my Venom, my Justice Leagues, and my Spider Man's I'm doing. Carrie. And this is probably one of my all-time favorites, Garfield. I grew up on Garfield, love him, love him to death. I wanted to do something that was out of the box. So I did the whole Monday thing, the little comic clips. I used little push pins like I was holding it up. And Garfield on the side, his paws wrap around to the spine, which is part of the, the refrigerator. Since Garfield loves food and raiding the refrigerator, so that's why I came up with the idea of using the little magnets, all different little pictures, some more comic clips, the synopsis on the little notes, another note with the bonus features, and the credits. I tilted them, look like made them look like magnets holding it on there. A little film strip, and I used a little tape. Show, you know, taping all the logos on. This was a really fun one to do. I really enjoyed it. Probably one of my favorites I've done. So that wraps it up for this edition of my custom covers. If you're interested in any of the covers I've done or or anyone else for that matter, you can go to highrescovers.net. I've got a link below. They're only charged eleven dollars a year. You get unlimited downloads of covers. Any, anything they have on their site. I think you'll really love what they have. It's also a great community message board. You can get on there and if you're actually doing work yourself or you can actually request covers. If you're looking for something particular they don't have, you can request and someone might pick up. 
I'm still working on my Spider-Man set. Those hopefully will be done next week or so. So keep an eye on for that. Like and subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. Have a good one.